But first, special needs teacher Brenna McAteer says that when she wants to get a feel for Venice in South Florida, she heads over to the Waterside Paradise that serves delicious Pan-Asian Latin fusion dishes. Mm -hmm. From their complimentary popcorn and cotton candy, nothing is ordinary at this dynamic house. It's located in Fort Lauderdale and it's called Casa Sensei. My name is Will Reyes. I'm one of the executive chefs here at Casa Sensei in Los Olas. We are a very successful pan-Asian Latin restaurant in Fort Lauderdale. They start back in Peru, you know, to combine both cuisines and they just put it together, you know, flavors and ingredients together to come up with uh, this uh, type of cuisine. It's been trending for the past seven years. We are very famous. We're well known for that, you know, we welcome our customers with the popcorn, with kimchi butter. So that's something we've been doing since we, you know, open and people love the popcorn with kimchi butter and then we finish up with like the cotton candy to make you a member of your childhood, you know, and to have a memory of uh, Casa Sensei. Casa Sensei is located in the heart of Las Olas, as you can see here. I think we have one of the best waterfront dining experience in Fort Lauderdale. People just love to come here, you know, sit by the, by the canal, by the water, and they have the best experience. Casa Sensei is mesmerizing, amazing, and the best in Fort Lauderdale. Tell me a little bit about the area. It's a cute little restaurant. My cousin and I, we ate outside, okay. and beautiful lights, the atmosphere was great, and you almost feel like you're in Venice. We just love it there. We started off with pork pow buns, mm -hmm. and they were amazing. I mean, the buns Is were it soft. A pork belly? Yes. Okay. Nice and crispy and, and fried. And buns really, it's rice flour and, and it's a little bit sweet, right? Yes. And it just melts in your mouth. They were to die for. I mean, I had was. the shrimp one. Okay. Oh, you did? Yeah. You had the bao bun yes. with shrimp? Okay. And I had to ask how to pronounce it. I didn't know. The bao? Yeah. yeah. The bao. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Delicious, right? Yes. Absolutely delicious. Erin, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. what did you think about the ambiance? Uh, I thought it was very unique in the fact that it had several different seating options. Okay. They, there's the main dining room and it curves around the bar. Right. And my wife and I ended up sitting halfway back and we had a window seat that actually overlooked the patio, the dock, and the waterway. Oh, pretty. So it was very pretty. We were yeah. the only ones in the room at the time. What did you have? Uh, we had the bao buns as well. Mm -hmm. I, had the pork, I had the pork belly. Uh -huh. My wife had the tofu. Mm -hmm. I had the Korean bulgogi. I love bulgogi. Which was almost like lettuce wraps with, oh, ro with okay. romaine and uh -huh. string mushrooms. Mm -hmm. And you could either eat it with a knife and fork, chopsticks, or actually make lettuce wraps out of it. Beef bulgogi? Correct. It's the ribeye. Yeah. It, it was shaved ribeye bulgogi. Yeah. Cindy, what'd you think? I loved it. I thought that the ambiance was just, it was hip, it was happening. We went on a Saturday night, we went with another couple. My girlfriend and I shared the crispy chicken and sesame seeds, and it came in a caramel sauce over rice, and it made the rice like a sticky rice. It was just delicious, and sharing was perfect because we did have the bao buns, mm -hmm. and we saved room for dessert. I know you weren't drinking that night. Anybody else have cocktails? I had a Thai teeny. Mm, on what's the, the name? <laughs> on the advice of our server. Okay. Um, I'm not too much on cocktails, but mm -hmm. I went with what he recommended, and it turned out to be a great compliment. Did you have no? Any but I no? just love the plays on names, so that's a cute name, Titini. Okay. Dessert? I had dessert with What'd my group. Have? We shared the lava cake, and it was a really generous portion because the four of us were able to wow. have it, and it had you know that hot thick chocolate that kind of pours out, and there was a nice dollop of cream. Um, ooze is the word that you oh, really ooze. want to use. Yes, it's all about yes, the ooze and the was, lava cake. It yeah. was oozing, <laughs> and then there was the whipped cream. I would have probably liked ice cream on that, too, because it was it warm. It traditionally is served with yeah, ice cream. The but first, it was very the good. The first lava cake, which was served in New York, was served with vanilla ice cream Okay. many, many, many years ago. Yeah. yeah. I'm big on yeah. something sweet after dinner, even if I'm full. I love a little something well, sweet. Well, a different stomach for that. <laughs> I think <Yeah>. so. <laughs> Cotton candy and popcorn. Definitely. Hold on. I have to hear about this. Did you have... Both? We did. We okay. had both. We had the, the popcorn at the beginning, and it was very flavorful. We were trying to decide what the topping was on the popcorn. Kimchi. And my wife ended up asking the server, and it's uh -huh. kimchi butter. Mm -hmm. And right. it's, it's super flavorful, and it, it was just a very unique 
complement with a titini and, and <laughs> as, as an appetizer. I wonder what flavor was your cotton candy? It was like a strawberry. Is it made in the kitchen, I guess, in the back? I, it's, I think it's made in the back. Okay. It's and just a nice surprise when they come yeah. out. Yeah, you know? no doubt. No. Mm -hmm. Does everybody get their own little cotton candy? or No, is it you one can big just one kind of like share. Okay, I like it. Brenna, mm -hmm. Casa Sensei was your pick. Sum it up for us. Casa Sensei, I would say, is a nice restaurant to go to with, you know, uh, significant other, friends. Make sure you sit outside to just enjoy the view and have a great, great time with great food. Lovely. Aaron? A true fusion experience in the heart of Los Olas. Cindy? I think Casa Sensei is a wonderful mix of Pan-Asian and Latin, um, some really nice surprising flavors, and a beautiful ambiance. Well, you can enjoy unique dishes and other world atmosphere at Casa Sensei, located at 1200 East Las Olas Boulevard, Fort Lauderdale. Open for dinner on Mondays and for brunch, lunch, and dinner Tuesday through Sunday. Reservations are accepted and the average price for dinner without drinks is about $70.